Hey, you clicked on my video. Appreciate it. Now be sure to like the video and subscribe to the page. Long enough to cover the subject and short enough to keep it interesting. Welcome to Out of My League. I'm Nick Diaz. You've been noticing a lot of people leaving LSU this past year for one reason or another. Promotions. Jay Johnson's top two assistants, what do they leave for? Promotions. In 2019, LSU lost damn near everyone on their coaching staff for promotions. One of Kim Mulkey's assistants, for that most of you probably didn't realize, left for a head coaching job just after one year at LSU. And now, the person who most of you have probably never heard of that did all of the deals for Scott Woodward, Stephanie Rimp, is leaving to be the athletic director at Nevada. So who is Stephanie Rimp? Stephanie was the deputy AD under Scott Woodward at LSU these last three seasons. She did all of Scott Woodward's dirty work. Not just at LSU, but at Washington and Texas A&M and followed him to Baton Rouge. Stephanie was Scott's right hand in the hiring of Chris Peterson, hiring Jimbo Fisher, Buzz Williams, Kim Mulkey, Jay Johnson, Brian Kelly, and Matt McMahon. She was the king's counsel. She was the concierge to the Mafia Don. She was the one who had her hand on the phone doing all the dirty work. When all of us had our thumbs up our asses trying to figure out who was going to be LSU's next head football coach last year, oh, it's this TAF member said this, or this booster said that, this administrator heard from who, Board of Supervisor Insider has this stuff, eh, bullshit. In reality, there were only two people in the world that knew the truth. That was Scott and Stephanie, and no one else. I honestly, seriously doubt that Scott Woodward's own wife knew anything about these hires till the day that it was announced. And I'm not being facetious when I say that. Stephanie probably knew more about this than Scott's own wife. She was on the phone talking to agents. She was on the phone doing her homework on candidates. She was running the day-to-day operations of the athletic department while Woodward just sat back as a brilliant CEO making all the final decisions and closing the deal. But it's funny, don't take my word for it. Look at all of the press conferences, the opening press conferences that the new coaches that LSU would hire or that Scott Woodward would hire at A&M or Washington, and they would all get up on the podium and they would thank the Board of Supervisors, the President, Scott Woodward, their wives, their children, and then they would thank Stephanie. So she's kind of a big deal. But how big of a deal is it to lose Stephanie Rimp at LSU? Well, I'll say this. Losing the talent of Stephanie Remp is a big deal. But in the same way that Nick Saban at Alabama losing Kirby Smart to take the Georgia job is a big deal, or Lane Kiffin leaving Alabama to be a head coach again is a big deal, it's also not that big of a deal. Because similar to those coaching situations, the train is already rolling. It's already rolling at LSU Athletics, and it will keep on rolling, especially since the head man, Scott Woodward, is still overseeing it all. And just like Kirby Smart leaving to take the Georgia job or Lane Kiffin leaving to go to FAU, everyone will be sending in their resumes to LSU. Why? Because one, it's LSU. Two, because it's a chance to work for Scott Woodward. And dear God, if you've learned anything up to this point, we know Scott Woodward always has a list of replacements. And shit, probably someone impressive he already has ready to hire right now. Who is that? No idea. But, if anything, we've learned trust in Scott. I think this would be a bigger deal if LSU had not hired every major sport on LSU's campus. Then this would worry me. If they hadn't wor- uh, you know, hired, say, the football coach up to this point, the most important employee at a major university, or even the men's basketball coach going into sanctions, your second biggest moneymaker in the athletic department. If that were the case and she were leaving and they hadn't hired those positions, that would make it a bigger deal. But all of the important things that need to be established have already been established and are already on a roll. So, does it suck to lose a great talent? Yeah, but she's done her job. The work's done. There's nothing really left to do. But let's look down the future for a moment. And when I say down the future, I mean way down the future. What will be interesting to me is who Woodward replaces Stephanie with. 
because it's been discussed and heard very loudly through the grapevine that Scott Woodward potentially wants to be the president of LSU after William Tate's time is done, whenever that is, assuming that ever happens. Which means Scott Woodward may end up not only replacing Stephanie Rimp, but also hiring his successor at the exact same time. That could be. Or maybe Stephanie Rimp is Scott Woodward's successor. I don't know what her ambitions are, but I do know that Stephanie Rimp is from Santa Barbara, California, and she played volleyball at Arizona. She's from that part of the country around Reno, Nevada, where she'll be working now. So maybe she has aspirations to be a Pac-12 athletic director someday, perhaps at her alma mater, Arizona. She wants to do what Woodward did by coming home to restore glory to LSU, the same way she wants to do at her alma mater, Arizona. Maybe that's her goal. Or maybe, just maybe, Stephanie is simply leaving to go into training for her next big AD job, that's already waiting for her down the road. My mind wanders from time to time, and it gets these crazy ideas, but I do like them. Thanks for listening to Out of My League. If you like what you heard, be sure to like, share, and subscribe, or follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok in the description link below.